Peace and blessings, Israel, man. Shalom, shalom, man. Um, first and foremost, uh, well, before we get into this word, we give all praises, glory, and honor to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who is only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, for allowing this word to come out. I hope you sincere, uh, brothers and sisters, is edified by this word. Y'all know how we do, man. We got the elder here, we got his son here, myself here, the original Jewish mob. Listen, man. Um, it's a, it's a Meyer yeah. Lansky. Yeah. <laughs> That's me. Cause I'm a shooter. AKA. So listen, y'all. Y'all know how we do, man. We 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 come out and talk about things that we've witnessed since the last time we spoke. And today, man, um, for all you married couples out there, okay, double shalom to all the married couples. In this day and time, you'll be hard pressed to find married couples, let alone happily married couples and uh, I'm going to put the spotlight on the elder because today is a kind of unique day a day kind of unheard of when it comes to black so called black marriages you got to be the status that he's holding with him and his wife in our generation is usually those that 70, 80 years old can celebrate this feat that's happening today, but hey, people our age is unheard of. Can I tell the story? Of course. I have to bring up Great Drink. This is very Absolutely. significant. Absolutely. Today is my wedding anniversary. Um, what what the Lord put together, let no man take asunder. Right? Absolutely. That's any family member. Absolutely. That's any person on the street. That's anything. Once you understand that concept, you can kind of work around everything else. But to make a long story short. I got married at the courthouse and it was really, really, really unprofessional and rushed because the the the, the judge who gave who did our who did who gave us our vows, she was she was busy previous to us walking into the courtroom. She didn't know we was coming. When you get married at the courtroom, it's random. Okay. You just walk in there and they go, What you in here for? We want to get married. You want, did you pay them? Yes. And then they'll just da -da -da -da, rush though. They rushed through it. It was just me and my wife. We didn't have a witness. Kind. So the judge, who was frustrated, but she was very cordial. She was an Edomite female. Older. I don't know her name. I know it's on my wedding certificate, though. I mean, uh, whatever. Kind. So this is an omen. What I'm about to tell you is an omen. So I'm 22 years old. 21, 22. I don't even remember. 21. So long. I think I was like 21, what, 22. Yeah. And we we down at the courthouse, and they looking at us like these. This is not gonna last. That I mean, that's like how they treating it. Like we we in love, and we feel the special bond. But since we at the courthouse, had not not spending no money, they looking at it like y'all on some bullshit. Y'all, yeah. and so she said, you need a witness, and I can't be the witness. But fret not, if you didn't bring anybody, anyone will suffice. So we can step into the hallway. Find somebody who's unassuming and then just bring them in there if they agree. And all they have to do is to agree. And it's a legit. But you have to have a witness. Facts. We didn't have one. So we were kind of hesitant about going into the lobby of the courthouse and just walking up to a random person saying, hey, you know, would you like to be a witness, a witness in our wedding? So before any of that started to, 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 to transpire... My wife and I stood there looking confused at each other, trying to figure out exactly what we wanted to do. And lo and behold, guess who walks into the courtroom? Randomly just walks in there. David Gruber. Oh, yeah, right. This on the wedding certificate. I'm not lying. His name is on my wedding certificate as the witness. David Gruber. So he walks Great in. Drink. Exactly. So the Lord was fucking with us. This today, our anniversary. That's July. July 2nd. J-E-W. L-I-E, two. What's the July? You know about the Summerfest logo being a nigger eating watermelon. But on July 2nd, your anniversary, you flip it upside down. That's you and your wife living in paradise underneath King David's rainbow covenant that they black, that they ran it out with a crimson crime, which that crime was Henry Meyer, Festival Park, saying that the Summerfest logo is a nigger eating watermelon, but it's not is Samson and Tara. Uh, I'm speaking in encryption. They watching us. Right. I'm already knowing they watching us. Now, Herb Cole been watching me so long 
that when I went to his store today to buy some motherfucking Nike socks, he had the store set up for me to ring the bell. So I rang it and I found out he, I saw 1111 in there. And that's when I realized, I said, you dirty motherfuckers. I said, I, that's where I, I finally saw where 11, they got that address from God. for Pfizer form. God. 11, 11, facts. Bell, Bell Phillips. It is the Under Armour logo when you put five to it. Damn. Whoa. When you burn the Under Armour logo, they know what I'm talking about because they listen. When you set when you when you set the city aflame, that's the reason I said I set my city aflame. God. I burnt it up, and when I set it on fire, sure enough, the flame said eleven eleven. Y'all dirty as hell. The Under Armour logo, huh? They got the whole Coles department store set up after the Bucks win, but it's done in Cole. Remember, her Cole own Coles. Facts. So if you go in there and you know how to look at this shit, it's the Bucks win. Why wouldn't it be? He got the sign down there saying her Cole's way. He's going to incorporate that into his stores. Yeah. Especially the ones that I go into. We had our biblical showdown right on his on his street. Right. And I go in the store today and it was like he was fucking with me. Like he knew I man, we talking this this not sounding like Israelite doctrine. But I'm letting you know, uh, it's more Israelite doctrine coming. Fact. See, niggas been having they've been <laughs> bro. Everything that you can see, it's got to be a reason you can see it. E equals MC squared by Albert Einstein said, you can't see anything that changes without it changing something. Facts. I hope y'all are catching on to what my brother's saying. In so many words, he's at a level where he's, man, he he, he at a high level. His, his grade level when it comes to this is almost... Beyond prophetic status. So, like. so you gotta understand something. <laughs> this is cool. This is real cool. This is kindergarten training. But because this is what I mean, and I don't want you to take this the wrong way. This is a book. Everybody can't fucking read, okay? Right. At the end of the day, this is printed by a white man. I believe it. I do believe it. But guess what? That was part of his trick. He he hoped that this all you believe. That was that was a secret right there. Stop right there. You right. But when you go when you when you just go with that approach, faith without works is dead. Facts. They didn't tell you what works was. You thought works was teaching. No, nah, it you, is. What you doing is the works. It's levels to this shit. That's work too, cause somebody got to wake up. Somebody like me, which that's who did it. The Israelites. Find out I'm a Jew and then realize, wait a minute, yeah, I'm a Jew, but it means more than what you're saying. Right. There's a power that come with this that they hid from us. And that's why they hid that, because we catch wind to that. We're going to use it against them. Game over. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. He ain't talking about after we die. He was talking about now. Right. Right. We're supposed to be dying. The hell we need weapons for in the kingdom. He said the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Meaning they like guns, but they not like them guns. Nope. You can't see these. They ghosts. They wraiths. They phantoms. Facts. I can't allow my children to go to jail fucking with this demon. I'm going to have to give them something they can use. They can keep this motherfucker up off of them. And not only that, it's got to be under the radar because I'm, I'm Yahweh Shai and Yahweh. And I'm, I'm going to let them know I got power. This right. particular power is going to be so strong to where the fake Jews just going to bring you the money and say, fuck it. This shit ain't worth it. That's why we kept telling you <laughs> why old boy them didn't, didn't get the, you know, the bag. Hey, y'all, listen up, man. This is a beautiful thing. My bro, I'm going to let my brother Revelation. continue to cook. Hey, I, do me a quick favor, man. You you eloquently have spoken some over-the-head genius. Under Armour. Yeah. Now, I just want y'all, I just want my bro in just in a, in a nutshell. For all you couples that... If y'all look at my head, my head look just like the Under Armour logo. Absolutely. That ain't on purpose. Right. Not by my side. Right, right. Now, look, um, you married couples out there, man, that's whoever strives to get married or marry. Um, this brother... And his wife been together 26 years. 27. 27. Yeah, 27 years. 
Now think about Biblically this. married 27 years. Yeah. Married through Esau 25. So even if you take away my wedding certificate, I'm still no, even if you even if you add the certificate, it's 25. Right. You take the certificate away, it's almost 28. Yeah. So what I want to ask you, bro, is what's one of the secrets of success that you can share with, with the church in regards to what allows you to go almost three decades and I'm talking about with all the shit out here y'all have been able to stay together like glue I'm talking about through thick and thin if you could if you could if you could give us just one nugget it's many nuggets but if you could point out one nugget that you say you know what this is this might help you I've obviously all praise to Yahweh with those only begotten son y'all was shy but other than that, I mean, for 27 years, bro, you didn't seen everything. So most couples ain't been together no more than five years. Mm -hmm. If it's one thing, well, you said it already. You said, let no man put asunder that what the Lord put together. Right, what the Lord put together. That right there, bro, to be honest, that's really the key. That's that's one of the biggest secrets. Duh, this is what it is. This is, this is how the marriage stayed together all these. Um, I kept, I kept seeing where the Lord would step in and fix us. So if, uh -huh. if it was an issue that popped up that the Lord felt like I, it wasn't, basically what I'm saying is it wasn't me. Got it. Got it. All praise. It was all, it was Yahweh, Yahweh Shai who kept the marriage together. But right. it was crazy because it really was, it was, I mean, we didn't have a lot of, bumps like that you know what i'm saying everything kind of went kind of smooth most right right that's what i'm saying for 27 years man y'all he they find look. if a wife find if a good thing but the lord had planted her in my life facts so I, like sometimes i i think that too i say why is this woman so tame right why is she it was so made for you right why is it so customized easy? right why is it so <laughs> easy, it's easy for me to dominate this woman right you feel what i'm saying with, with with no with no uh with no resist right well very little resistance yeah. most of the time that's right. not how black women are nah, they way more defiant than that and i guess what i drew it back to she grew she was raised by her father oh there it is and her mother never had a job so she always saw a man telling women what to do facts so I traced it back to that. And so all of her siblings, her sister's been married and they like stay in long relationships because the only way relationships gonna ever work in the black community is a black woman gonna have to just basically carry that sword of just giving her life up for you to have one. Facts. Just like Genesis said she's supposed to. Ooh. But they not gonna fall into that. And but because she sacrificed what she's supposed to have done God. and and made sure that I was the lion king that I was supposed to be, which yes. it was only based Jesus 316. It was only based on the Lord putting that spirit in her for her to be submissive enough for this to play out this long and to be real. Damn. It was not me. It was Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai spirit that's in that woman. That's the you got it is yeah. this what this what the elder was speaking about and we took pertaining to the position his wife did not buck against. Uh Genesis chapter three, verse sixteen. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow in thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. Right. If if you go back 15 years and I read that to my wife, she would fight and argue and make up a million excuses on why to buck that. Right. But I can read that in front of her right now and say, that's why you're supposed to listen to everything I tell you to do and don't back talk me. And she would be like, oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> that's beautiful, bro. But, I hope y'all heard that. <laughs> but, but guess how? Because the Lord put the spirit on me to lead by example. By it me. ain't hard to follow. It's hard at first. You don't trust them. But after you put in so many years of showing that why, like, like you the best bus to get on in the wintertime. Because you don't slide 
and you don't get and the heat work. Once you realize that, this is the bus I'm riding. But I thought you didn't like buses. Ah! I ain't never said that. I'll translate. <laughs> I'll translate what my brother just said. For him to get to a place in his life with his woman to where she's submissive and playing her role, he got a fucking. It starts with him being in his proper role. He can't be a savage and then is expect his wife to be submissive to him. He got to be in his his right. If state. you want your woman to submit to you, basically, I think righteousness kind of forced them to do that because they watching you to fuck up, but you don't fuck up. Right. So if you start going, you get in your bully mode. They can't pull no card on you where you fucked up at. It's almost like going to the bank with credit. It's like nigga, you got a five ninety, but then you go in there with an eight eighty. It's like yeah, damn. I think it's a typo because I only go up to eight hundred, but you got eight. Hey, well you know what? Fuck it. I just don't have to get to you. Ain't you? Yeah, I really don't want to, but your credit too good, so I have to. So you build up a really good credit score. And then you tell them, I want this Mercedes right here with all the trimmings. And then they're going to be looking stupid. Chrome but they know that you're good for it. So that's how it works. Submission comes through. They know you're good for it. And you know what else is? My yeas, she allows my yeses to mean yes and my noes to mean no. But that don't mean that her, she checked me too, though. But that's the that's the balance right there. Right. She, Ishmael was there when I spent the mortgage money on weed. I had Damn. to. No, but I could have still paid the mortgage. But, you just but she was mad that I spent a thousand dollars a month that month on weed and shit. Right, right. But I was like, that's what I wanted to spend my money because on. Because she was a customer. You put that right here. Right, right. So you were so basically you bogus. Right. So I, I you know what? It's so fine. you had to eat like that. that. I ate it, but at the end of the day, I allow her to get that off, and I'm thinking to myself like, at the end of the day, she right. Right. Right, cause that, cause that's the house is business. That what you doing is I just bullshit. still pay it, but still yeah. it's like I just want to spend my money that's mine my way. But you right, right, right. It take a you you have to, to allow them yeah. that, cause you just can't be. But if when you wrong, you wrong, brother. Hey, Ox, so basically what you saying is every even every even Jordan got to pass the ball every once in a while. Even Jordan got to pass the ball every <laughs> once in a while and let him trick <laughs> and lose the game. <laughs> Like, damn, we finna lose, huh? <laughs> Boing, and then hey, everybody happy, though. Well, Fuck it. See, I ain't taking the last shot. Right, so, right. but you you got to, you, yeah. you, you know, but it's like, damn, we lost. But it's like, you got to take them L's because that's just how relationships give and take. But it's more, it's more, it's more take on my side. Oh, absolutely. And another thing, my bro, he shared this with me, uh, and, and, you know, I was married almost 15 years. Now, hold on. Okay. Not to cut you off. Come on. What did I say wrong? It's more take on my side. What right. did I say wrong? Nothing. I don't, I don't. Now go to a black woman and say that. They oh, no, they'll, fl that. they'll flip your wig. Right. But you. But, but they, they will tell that you that. That's what it just said. She got to lie about out and let me dominate her. Right. Right. That's your position. Because why? She went in there and let that pimp or, talk her into eating that damn fruit. Or don't get married and do your own thing. Oh, and then even in a trick bag then, because Isaiah 3, get them for that. Right. That proud but, shit. This, but this is a woman who I broke for birthdays, Mother's Day, Christmas, Christmas, tree. and she did that shit and never looked back. On her birthday come around, I'm, I'm just like, damn, Mother's Day, she, she riding, bro. Right, and that's beautiful. That's how you know. Like, y'all hear me say this a lot. But don't get it twisted. She's still a woman. Of course she so is. So every once in a while, she's going to get mad y'all ain't celebrating that Christmas. Of course. <laughs> well, here's the thing, though. Like I was telling y'all before, man, this this house, the Lord has really put it together here. Like, everybody, when I say one band, one sound, I ain't just talking y'all because it sounds slick. Everybody in this house is one band, one sound, and they don't, they not even conscious, conscious of it. It's just, uh, that's just how it flow. Like, it's normal life. I he mean, can say something. And his son can finish the sentence. He can start something. His son can finish the sentence. Or his daughter can start something. His son can finish the One sentence. thing I noticed that I analyzed throughout my whole life into my adulthood, I knew the key to black success was a mentally 
competent, a mentally well, and a solid household family. When you see problems come, you nip them in the bud. You don't allow problems. You don't allow drama. Facts. You don't allow problems to creep their way into your household. And a good coach, and it can only be a man, a woman is not capable of this. Facts. A good coach can foresee that bullshit. And it's a lot of his temperance. Get it out. His temperance and his emotions have to be in check for his family a lot of times. Absolutely. So you can knock a lot of problems off before they get to the plate. I hope y'all listen to this because my bro giving y'all some shit. He can charge y'all for. We don't accept donations, but today we'll take them. The reason that these marriages do not work a lot of times in our community is because the man don't have this. He working off for some other shit. And then, then if he do have this, the woman rejects it. That's that's the gist of it. If she accepts a man who properly understands this, you ain't going to have no problem. It's when she don't want to accept this or he don't know it. Game you got uh, any average nigga who a Christian God. type relationship. God. That's kind of what you're going to have. Because gangsters kind of have Christian relationships too. Oh, that's, it's all Christian. Right. Gangster niggas got their Christian relationship with their girl on. They're going to celebrate Christmas, birthdays. Fourth of July. The Fourth of July, like they're going to do now. Right. And, and and on birthday, they're gonna Christmas is going to be big with, uh, 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 with gangster couples. So all these men have no biblical backing in their rulership over their woman. Uh-huh. That's why the Bible says a wicked woman is given to a wicked man and vice versa. So we have to understand that when I was young, I thought that I could just get a woman. She started acting stupid, get another one. She started acting stupid, get another one. So I did that throughout my teenage years. And I realized, man, women don't, they they not, they not looking to put down no roots. Absolutely. I, that's just something that I noticed that in our generation coming up, women, they want to live life. Even the mothers and aunties would tell them, do not get married. Go out and play with these niggas. And then when you can't play no more, right, that matriarch attitude, no, a young girl's supposed to get married as soon as possible so she don't ever have to run the street. But mothers, a lot of mothers, black mothers, they resent not being able to run the street. So they say to their daughter, "Uh uh-uh, you're not going to make my daughter a slave and lock her down in the house. I want her to be a hoe. So... Go out there and hold. That's your body, your choice. And it is. The problem is, ain't nobody going to be there to marry her years down the line. Right. And she's going to die alone. Absolutely. Thank Probably you. with some kids and no father to take care of. Statistics do not lie. When a woman has children and she's not married to the father, 85% of them going to stay in poverty. Absolutely. That's, that's happening right now. So black men get black women pregnant. They're not married. The man goes this way. The kids go that way. And now the kids grow up in poverty to a percentage of 80%. Those black boys in those six, those, they, they what? 45% likely to go to prison or be murdered. Yeah, or both. But then you tell the woman, fall in line. She like, no. F you, nigga. But look at the nigga you telling her to fall in line for. All this nigga want to do is match his shoestrings with his motherfucking Oakland A's hat. Right. Hassan Campbell ass. Right. Hassan Campbell ass nigga. Then they got a purple motherfucking purple shoes. He every, he got the white dookies on with the purple shoestrings. Then the next day he got the black dookies on with the white shoestrings because his hat white. Then he got... I'm That's nigga ass shit for real. That's some nigga shit that's been going on forever with only super niggas. When you see a nigga matching like that, that means he is a super, 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 super hey, ass I, nigga. The nigga got the baseball cap with the jersey, with the dookies matching. He got up. the outfit on that every fat nigga in his 30s and 40s wear to Vegas. Absolutely. Them damn Levi's or Jabot shorts with some brand new short Nike socks with some Air Max on and a polo shirt to hide his gut. And he's geared up with right. the motherfucking baseball team hat on to match the shirt and the shoes. Right. That's a nigga. 
with a spinning piece on that motherfucker's thing. Oh, he gonna have the jewelry on too. Yeah. He'll have the jewelry on too. If he got some jewelry, he'll have his jewelry on. He out in Vegas. And what my bro is saying is a nigga like that can't, you can't a woman ain't gonna follow no nigga. How, like how that. a nigga like that gonna be a leader of anybody? He leading his kids to the mall to dress colorful and shit. <laughs> Dog, that's like you going to the mall with the Berry Buns fit on, take an itch to get the same outfit and see. Hey, you know how Jake be in the mall feeding his kids, and you know Jake Jake mean well? You know how you see when Jake mean well and he feeding his kids, he propping them up in the chair, yeah. he moving all fast, they yeah. geared up, he yeah. geared up, they yeah. haircut. You like, damn, Jake, Jake a dad. Then no, he, he slapped that, he slapped that pepperoni pizza right in front of them little kids. And they go to slapping that shit. You be like, damn, man, I wish I could go over there and stop that shit. Yeah. Cause he, he on the right track, but damn. That motherfucker turned <laughs> off, y'all. Hey, he be like, sit up here, Junior. Huh, there go your pizza, man. Yeah. Junior be like, thank daddy. He be like, Junior. Hey, Crystal, here go your pizza. They up there looking yeah, cute, yeah. slurping that damn pork. I'll be looking like, damn, dad. Yeah, you shit, dad. Yeah. God, you a great dad. I can tell they love you, but you throwing pork down their throats. Which means you <laughs> fucked them up. Bro. You fucked them off. I'll be, I'll be like, eat. damn. I'll be like, damn, I like this nigga. Hey, this I... nigga shot pork down their throats. Hey, Chris, what would look like? 27. Hold on, I'm going to get this part. Oh, you stop me.